Greetings, esteemed students. I am honored to introduce myself as your new chemistry facilitator, Ms. Lara Muhammad. It gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to share my passion and knowledge of this fascinating subject with you all. As an educator, I firmly believe that learning should be engaging and enjoyable, and I am committed to creating an environment that fosters these ideals. I aim to instill a profound appreciation for chemistry and to help you all succeed. I look forward to getting to know you and working together to make this productive and fulfilling academic year. Let us embark on this journey of discovery and learning with enthusiasm and dedication. The objectives for this PowerPoint slide is to go over the IB framework, to cover the syllabus outline, to read the assessment criteria, to discuss external assessment details, and finally to review the internal assessment components. The program is modeled in the following image. The first section of the model shows the subjects that students can take in the IB program. Chemistry, being a group 4 subject, is found at the bottom left corner of the model. It's often called the central science as chemical principles underpin both the physical environment in which we live in and bi biological systems. Apart from being a subject worthy of study in its own right, chemistry is often a prerequisite for many of the other courses in higher education such as medicine, biological science, environmental science, and so on. Through studying a science subject, students should become aware of how scientists work and communicate with each other. The next concentric circle shows the TOK, extended essay, and the CAS activities. All diploma program students participate in the three courses and the elements that make up the core of the model. Approaches to teaching and learning across the diploma program refers to the deliberate strategies, skills and attitudes which permeate the teaching and learning environment. These approaches and tools intrinsically link with the learner profile attributes, enhance students' learning and assist students' preparation for the diploma program assessments and beyond. Finally, as shown in the arrow, the student is at the heart of the program model which indicates that the diploma program aims to develop the students in the knowledge and the skills, the attributes that they will need to fulfill the aims of the IB as expressed in the organization's mission statement and their learner profile. The image on the slide shows the chemistry syllabus outline. The first 11 topics are the core ones and have to be covered by both standard level and higher level students. The following 10 topics are the higher level additional material which supports the core and are only required from higher level students. Next, we have the five chemistry options which we will choose one to study from and you will sit for in paper three. Finally, the internal assessment task will be one scientific investigation taking about 10 teaching hours and the write-up should be 12 pages long. Investigations exceeding this length will be penalized for the communication criterion as lacking in conciseness. The task produced should be complex and measurable with the level of the course. It should require purposeful resource question and the scientific rationale for it. The marked exemplar material in the teacher support material will demonstrate that the assessment will be rigorous and of the same standard as the assessment of the previous course. The assessment criteria shows the overall weight of each paper on the final level. Paper one and the internal assessment are both worth 20% of the overall grade. Paper two, is worth 36% of the overall grade, and paper three is worth 24% of the overall grade. These assessments cover four main objectives which are demonstrated in the slide. 
the grade out of 100 is then turned into a level which we will receive this slide tackles further assessment details which i will briefly cover paper one is out of 40 marks the duration is one hour and as we previously mentioned it is worth 20 percent of the overall grade 15 of the multiple choice questions are the common ones between standard and higher level students. The use of a calculator is not permitted on this paper. Students will be provided with a periodic table and no marks are deducted for incorrect answers. Paper 2, which uh, weighs 36% of the overall grade, covers short answer and extended response questions on the core and higher level material. Questions on paper two assess objectives one, two, and three. The use of a calculator is permitted in this exam and the chemistry data booklet is given by the school. Paper three, which is worth 24% of the overall grade, will have questions on core, higher level, and the option. There are two sections in this paper. The first section, being database questions and have several short answer questions from experimental work. Section B has short answer and extended response from the option that we chose to cover. The use of calculator on this paper is permitted and the chemistry data booklet is to be provided by the school. Last but not least, the internal assessment component. The new assessment uses five criteria, personal engagement, exploration, analysis, evaluation, communication. The descriptor for each criteria will be explained in further detail during our first lesson. Please remember that education is the passport to the future for tomorrow, and this belongs to those who prepare for it today. So on that note, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for your attentive listening during this introduction. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the new academic year and I wish you the best as you embark on this journey. Should you have any questions or concerns throughout the year, please do not hesitate to contact me via email that is shown on the slide. I am always here to support you and help you achieve your academic goals and I look forward to a successful and productive year ahead. Thank you so much.